So today we are going to be solving this very interesting interesting hackaround challenge. It says find merge points of two lists. So basically given two pointers, two pointers to the head of or, or head nodes of two linked lists that merge together at some point, find the node where the two lists merge. The merge point is where both lists point to the same node, that is the reference, the same memory location. It is guaranteed that the two head nodes will be different and neither will be null. If the lists share a common node, return the node's data, data value, and after the merge point, both lists will share the same pointer. So let's go to uh, the whiteboard. So in this case, we have this uh, link place here, or we have the head nodes to be head one and this head two. Now, one thing I want, to, I want you to take note of is that when you see these very two nodes and they have the same data value, that doesn't mean that they merge at this point. The reason is because what we are considering is the pointers, not actually, we are not comparing the data content of the nodes. So that is one thing you want to take note of. So let's write it and I've tried to figure out the best way and it seems the only way to do it is to use the brute force. So I'm going to iterate this for each for each node of the second list, we're going to check. We're going to start with one. So this is going to be our node one, node one. And this is going to be our, sorry, this is going to be our node two, and this is going to be our node one. So we are going to start from node one, and we're going to, uh, node one, we're going to compare node one with node two here, with node one, node one dot next, node one dot next, until we get to the end. And then we move to this one, we compare again. So it seems to be brute force, and that's gonna give us other n squared time, unfortunately. <laughs> but there's no better way. But if you know a better way to fix this, please let me know in the comment box below. So I'm not gonna write this in my whiteboard, I'm gonna go write it right here, and we are going to uh, see how it plays out. So the first thing I would like to do here is to initialize the two nodes. I'm gonna say no nodes, the two pointers to the head. So basically the same thing, node 1 is equal to head 1 and node 2 is equal to head 2 and then I'm going to start a while loop, so I'm going to say while, permit me to increase the font a little bit. So I'm going to start a while loop while node 1 is not equal to, sorry, is not equals none. Uh, or you can just say while node 1. So I'm going to just say while node 1 is not equal to none. I'm going to say node 2 is equal to node 2 is equal to head 2. Alright, so I'm starting uh, node 1 while node 1 is not equal to none. I'm starting node 2. Okay, I'm going to start iterating node 2 while node 2 is not equal to none as well and so I'm going to now say if node 1 is the same as node 2 node 2 and then we are going to simply return the data content of that node so node 1 and node 2 should be the same thing and therefore they have the same data all right, so I'm going to move node one, node two, one step here. So I'm going to say node two dot next, node two equals node two dot next, and I'm going to come come back here and say node one is equal to node one dot next. So this is basically it. Uh, I think this should be correct. So let me just run it and let's see what we have. So I'm going to run code. And here you can see that it passes the two sample test cases. Let me just show you that even if you don't say none here, so I'm going to take out this. So you just while not one because that will make it uh, way much easier for you. So while not one, while not two. So I'm going to run the code again and let's see. And it also worked. So instead of saying equal to none, so just say while not one. So I'm going to just submit this code and it passes all the test cases. I'm going to be stopping here and I'd like to thank you for being there. Great big thumbs up to you. Uh, I also want to recommend you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an update. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.